They are very intelligent animals with complex behaviors and a remarkable life cycle. This film will show you the bizarre and little known lifestyle of the octopus. We start the story during spring. Then the adult males migrate to the shallow coastal waters where they actively search for sexually mature females. The females already arrived somewhat earlier in the coastal zone. They started looking for a suitable rock cavity in which to lay their eggs. They also brought pebbles and stones to the entrance of the cavity and neatly piled them up. Once this job is done, they patiently wait for the arrival of a male that can please them. The males do not only search for receptive females. They know that they will have no success when they appear with empty hands. Therefore they first seek a prey that they will offer as a wedding gift to the female. The male octopuses are so devoted to their task that they lose sight of any dangers. They go on chasing during daytime and they are not shy at all. Patiently they search with their arms that are equipped with sensitive and strong suction cups for possible prey in the narrowest cavities and crevices. Only when they have got hold of a crab or clam they will move to the shelter of a female. Upon arrival at the nest cavity, the female is approached cautiously. Now the trick is to convince her to accept the offered prey. She is not to seduce quickly. You won't convince her with a small snack. Which is not surprising, as it will likely be the last meal in her life. The female is also very picky and only wants to mate with a male that shows to be big and strong. So will her young, the only one she will produce in her life, inherit good male genes. And these are necessary to maintain the species. Suddenly the female spews out some non-digestible prey remains. And she accepted the gift. Little by little, she eliminates more remains. And so we get to see what she was offered. A yummy crab. Only now can the two animals move on to the real order of the day, the mating. The male moves the tip of one of his arms very cautiously to the mental cavity of the female. That arm is specially equipped for the transport of packets of sperm which will fertilize the egg cells. The more packets the male can transfer, 
the more likely it is that he will father the young. No surprise then that they may copulate for several hours. Once the mating has ended, the female moves the collected pebbles to close the opening of the nest cavity. Eventually only a slit remains such that the octopus becomes almost invisible and unreachable for her natural enemies. Now the real work begins for the female. Within a few hours she produces hundreds of thousands of oval eggs, each only two millimeters long. The pure white eggs are attached to the upper wall of the nest cavity in highly branched strings. During their development the female protects the eggs against intruders she also directs jets of oxygenated water towards the egg strings. In doing so, she uses a tubular body opening, the so-called funnel, that she can turn in the desired direction. This task will keep her busy for three to four months. During this entire breeding period, the female does not leave the nest cavity and she will not feed. Meanwhile, there's a new activity to note in octopus country. The animals that were born in the previous year are now several centimeters long and have established themselves in the shallow coastal waters. They are very active and search for food and suitable shelters. They show that they are already masters in camouflage. They effortlessly change color and texture of the skin and they even adapt their body shape to the environment. The youngsters are very curious and investigate the crevices, cavities and boulders that they encounter on their quests. Even the camera lens is an interesting object that's accurately examined. But most attention is paid to possible prey. This animal got a muscle of it and is very busy examining this golden opportunity. Two arms with powerful suction cups are very precisely positioned on the two shell halves. Patiently a strong enough pull force is exerted until the adductor muscle of the muscle suddenly breaks. Eating the contents of the shell is then only a child's play.
We are now three months later. It's mid-September and the female is still hidden in her nest cavity. There is, however, noticeable change. The animal is very emaciated and her skin is pale and puckered. Nevertheless, she still diligently guards and purifies her clutch, although the strings now have a greyish color and it's hard to see any remaining eggs. Very occasionally, we see a tiny eddying global. Is that a newly hatched young? Indeed, in this litter we arrive too late because most eggs have already hatched. We have more success at another nest cavity. Here the strings still contain many eggs with a nice transparent membrane through which the larval octopuses are clearly visible. A slight movement of the water provides sufficient stimulation for the young to break the egg membrane with some short, sudden movements and swim away. Almost immediately the larval octopuses swim for the upper water levels. They will remain there during the first months of life and feed on plankton. When they are about one centimeter long, they will sink to the sea floor, where they will spend the rest of their life. After all the eggs have hatched, with a last effort the female opens the nest cavity and she swims away. The empty egg strings are the only witnesses of her past presence. Due to the month-long efforts and hardships, her last meal was just before the mating, the female is very weakened and in bad condition. Some females are so exhausted that they are unable to swim away from their nest cavity and die on the spot. Other females move very slowly exhibit little alertness and are therefore an easy prey for groupers and other predators. <laughs>